I overlap. Sometimes I would overlap just a little bit from one day to the next. To get the kids reminded of what they were watching. You can hear the cat nodding. This is the part that I mean is so rough. Uh, and obviously they're going to use a second, or a, a second whenever they can, but... I had to wonder sometimes how many of my students had witnessed stuff like that at home. I always feel a little relieved when that scene is passed because of what I said about the students. Look at the stonework. They use dressed stone there and then rough stone out here. Just I don't know a name for this theme, but notice the close-up of the eyes that are closed on the, on the crucifix. But that theme, you're about to hear it go into organum. It's in octaves now, parallel octaves. They're okay. The very rich at the front of the church. The poor at the back. That's prostrating themselves, those those priests. Now it's an organ. Those are parallel fifths. Disney used that in We Are Siamese, if you please, in his uh, Lady in the Tramp. He used organ because it has an oriental kind of a sound to it. See what I mean about the extreme use of eyes? 
I think the movie could be criticized for overdoing that, uh, maybe. I, I don't mind it. The eyes are open now. This has been a, a, a miracle, if you will. And, and that's the moment of his epiphany. Now he sees. He backs up, he goes among the poor. No anger. Just now he understands, and that's not the right way. And here comes this whole thing. I'm going to let it run. We recognize the church from earlier in ruins. But the, but the flame is going, and in a way, fl well, flame is going to become a theme, a major theme. We have at least one left. Now this crucifix has its eyes open. And that's where I would have you stop your viewing as, as the cloth is coming down. That, that will take some explanation. That's a good place to stop. Okay, see you next time.